upon the narrow exit, both from the east and from the west. The enemy began to fire with cannon upon the beaches by which alone the shipping could approach or depart. They sowed magnetic mines in the channels and seas. They sent repeated waves of hostile aircraft, sometimes more than a hundred strong in one formation, to cast our bombs upon the single pier that remained and upon the sand dunes on which the troops had their only shelter. For four or five days an intense struggle reigned. All their armored divisions, or what was left of them, together with great masses of infantry and artillery, hurled themselves in vain upon the ever-narrowing, ever-contracting appendix within which the British and French armies fought. Meanwhile, the Royal Navy, with the willing help of countless merchant seamen, strained every nerve to embark the British and Allied troops. 220 light warships and 650 other vessels were engaged. They had to operate upon the difficult coast, often in adverse weather, and had almost ceased its hail of bombs and an increasing concentration of artillery fire. It was in conditions such as these that our men carried on with little or no rest. The days and nights on end, making trip after trip across the dangerous waters, bringing with them Thank you.